Hello, this is Unbrick Me here with a look at the LEGO Star Wars Boba Fett Helmet 75277. First of all, let me tell you that all the intricate details on this model really add something, and especially this rangefinder, which is an exclusive thing to this set and isn't seen in any other helmet. If after watching the review you decide to buy this set, use the link down in the description or the pinned comment that I will have. Let's get started with the review. So on the front you will find very very nice detailing. I do really like all these angles used here and such. For example, all the cheek pieces, they use triangles and one of them even uses like a curved piece which really does add a level of depth to the model. The same thing can be seen on the right side and I do really love how all the eyes are detailed and the nose piece. It's just so movie accurate and I do really really appreciate it. And over on the right hand side we will find some very very interesting building techniques. I do really like how these sort of stripes over here are done very very nice. It does remind me a lot of the Horizon Express train we got a while back. And the side here looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it does look much better than any of the other two helmets that I have here. As you can see by the comparison you know those two are kind of bland and this one really does add a level of detail to the model like even the back over here we do see some greveling here in the middle and it's just so detailed so nice and it, my favorite side of course is the right side because we do get this range finder which can go down and up and it is very very realistic and accurate of what the actual helmet would be like in my opinion it's so detailed and you really don't need to do anything more with this set it's just like even the top, although it does seem a little bit bland, it does create a very nice spherical shape and it's not just sand green, like we do get some gray elements to kind of add some dents on his armor pieces. And in my opinion, spending just 60 bucks on this thing, you really are getting a really good deal. For example, with the Boba Fett, there are zero stickers on the model, absolutely zero, even the stand that the Boba Fett sits on. It's done very nicely and we get this piece which is printed. That's just awesome. It's every LEGO fan's dream to build a set without any stickers in it. Maybe they should have included a Boba Fett minifigure, although, you know, I'm not really complaining about that because I already have so many Boba Fett minifigures. When you compare the Boba Fett helmet to something like the Stormtrooper helmet or the TIE Fighter pilot helmet, you really do see just how similar they are. I mean, they use a lot of the same building techniques. But for me personally, my favorite one is the TIE Fighter pilot helmet simply because, well, he is a pilot and he has these two Imperial insignias at the top, which is just so awesome. He's got the awesome, spectacular breathing tubes. Such a nice, clean-looking black model is just so on point and... If you're choosing between one of these three helmets, I definitely recommend the TIE Fighter Pilot helmet. So here's the final question with the Boba Fett helmet. Is it really worth $60? And I say that with a resounding yes. Because first of all, it is an 18 plus set, you know, LEGO can get away with slightly higher pricing, stuff like that. But this character is just so iconic. He's a, well, he's a Mandalorian and he's clone of the Jango Fett. And he's got like this awesome... He's got this awesome range finder at the top, he's got like all these different building techniques and especially here you can see like the, like the yellow stripes and it's just so cool. This is such a well done model and I, I really do give props to LEGO for really making this model so unique and so intricate and, and some of the stuff like the top of his helmet is a little bit bland and not detailed, so that's also another con from me. But all of that is really nitpicking, you know. That's just looking at the little tiny flaws of the overall astounding model. So I say, go ahead and buy this model right now. It's backordered on lego.com and you have to buy it at Walmart right now using the link I provided in both the pinned comment and the description. I hope you can buy this Boba Fett. My review for the Stormtrooper helmet and the TIE Fighter pilot helmet are up over here on this screen. This is Yarn Brick Me here and I'll see you in the next one.